It's Madden NFL 24, and it's presented by EA Sports. It's the New England Patriots and the Pittsburgh Steelers coming up next. At the confluence of the three rivers, the Ohio, the Allegheny, and the Monongahela, we are here at Pittsburgh's Acrisure Stadium. Today, we've got a fun AFC matchup on tap, as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnovers, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Kicker Chris Boswell has it ready to go, and we are underway from Pittsburgh. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. So here come the Patriots now to take over on offense. And they're brought out by just the second Western Kentucky alum to start a game at QB in the NFL. In his second season, Bailey Zappi. And he's a young man who's always believed in his talents. Didn't have many offers out of high school. Ended up at Houston Baptist and put up monster numbers. Decided to take the next step and go to Western Kentucky. And he did it again. Set NCAA records for passing touchdowns and passing yards in a single season. Now the big jump to the NFL. This guy's like a very skilled point guard. Knows how to deal and put the ball in the proper place with every throw. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stumped the run. Zappi's throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and third and eight now. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. Zappi on third down. That is caught, and yeah, he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. tracks behind the line of scrimmage. T.J. Watt always a disruptor there to blow that play up. The job of any linebacker involves having enough strength to fight off a blocker and get to ball carriers, but in this case, I think we can safely say he beat him right off the snap to get into the backfield and make that play. On well, second down at Stevenson. Call it a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and it may be a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. Zappi back to throw. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. 
We got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. But yet another completion here on this opening drive, and he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go, and sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 20-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Stevenson now on first and 10. Touchdown. And even 20 yards for Ramondre Stevenson. And the Patriots get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, Defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. now following the touchdown back out to kick it away and this take it in at the goal line and he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21 yard line so here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time leading them out a third round pick in 2018 made a handful of starts across his five previous seasons Mason Rudolph and when Mason Rudolph is on the field, sometimes the scouting reports have to be revised a little bit because often quarterbacks like to throw short to get a rhythm. For Mason Rudolph, he loves the deep fade and he loves the deep post pattern. Anything over the top, those are his favorite shots downfield and that's what gets him comfortable. Here comes a first down throw from Rudolph. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. Now it looks like we're going to get a stoppage here. An injured Steeler on that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Here's Rudolph. A short one there to Fryermuth. And Fryermuth going to have the Steelers first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. From the 41, here's second and six. Again, it's Rudolph. Got his man, it's Warren. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 44-yard line. A solid gain of 
15 yards in the sticks move. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Rudolph slow into the hands of Pickens. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That one goes for 24 yards. And quickly into the hands of Robinson. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that will bring up second down. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. This one hauled in, and again it's Robinson. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. The opening drive, it continues, Charles, to be all pass, and it's working. Now they're on the doorstep of a touchdown here, first and goal. Brandon, because it's working so well, I think the entire playbook is open for them right now. Do you want to run it? Do you want to continue to throw it? Spin the dial, make your choice. But right now, you like what you're doing in this possession. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now here's another carry for Harris. Pushing and fighting his way in for a Steeler touchdown. Najee Harris. Touchdown run. And the Steelers respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Extra point put through by Boswell, and we are tied at seven. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And it was Najee Harris who finished it off with a touchdown run. Team's had it. Each team has scored. 7 7 here as the kick's away. And Rager will not return it, so it'll come out to the 25 on the touchback. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Zappi's throw here taken in by Parker. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. Don't mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. Zappi's throw here, taken in by Gesicki, and he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. Zappi off play action. And his throw is going to be incomplete. 
Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have any options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Off the fake, Zappi. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Barringer on to punt for the Patriots. The back deep for the Steelers is Calvin Austin. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down to those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. the 26 they'll line up on second and four here's Rudolph off play action now a quick throw there but it's going to be incomplete a good job in coverage there they took away his top read on the play so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession but the coverage held it goes incomplete now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now Rudolph. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yeah. thought he was trying to get deep. Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not no. He came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Play action. It's Rudolph. to the left sideline and incomplete. Pat Fryermuth, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Rudolph looking to throw it. Pickens on the slant. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Here's Rudolph. That swung out wide to Harris. And he will have the Steelers first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. Now a play fake, and it's Rudolph. And this one is incomplete. They were maybe hoping for a little bit of a back shoulder fade there, and that's a play that's been in vogue the last few years in all aspects of football. But they couldn't get the hook up there. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Back to the air, Rudolph. He's got this to Pickens. 
And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 37. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 37 yard line. They'll fake the handoff. Now Rudolph. Here's one deep for Pickens. Oh, and that is incomplete. That sun's going to be a factor all game long. I'm not sure it made a difference on that one, but it's something to think about on all deep throws during this time of year. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Harris running straight ahead. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. This now a third and four. Rudolph looking to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 17-yard line. Seven, seven, our score after one. Second quarter action from Pittsburgh. It is the Steelers in control of the football. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. Slant round and he's got Fryer move. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Two yards left on second down from the nine. Now it's Rudolph off the bootleg. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. Harris diving for the end zone and he is in. Touchdown. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him, he's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in, have to report like they're eligible, but all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Boswell good with the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to well now to kick it away after the touchdown out of his end zone here comes Jalen Rager and the decision to bring it out not a good one as he's tackled it to 15 and now out come the Patriots that 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. Zappi and the Patriots come up here first and 10 at their own 15. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 
Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. One well, of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. And now Zappi. It's complete to Parker, left side. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Looking to throw, Zappi. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Second and ten. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. The offense on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and nine. Zappi working from the gun. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. Here's Bryce Barringer on now to punt. Didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. And the Steelers getting set and ready for their next possession. Now their last two drives, both ending in touchdowns, it's got them this 14-7 lead. And it looks to me, and I think you're probably seeing the exact same thing, they're in an ideal spot now to create some separation. The way that they're functioning on offense now, they can create a pretty good gap. Allows their defense to play with a little more verve and confidence. A big article in the paper this morning about them stringing possessions together for consecutive touchdowns. Well, right here, they're trying to make it three in a row. Harris starts the drive on the ground. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 15 yards is the pickup there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Anytime you hear the term an explosive run, most teams I know define that as any run over 10 yards, and they got that and more. How about a lot of credit for the big guys up front? That offensive line firing out, creating plenty of space, and a big run ensued. First down, and they go back to Harris. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one good for 26 and a first down. Boy. Out of the gun, Rudolph. Got his man, it's Warren. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the 20, here's second and a yard. Now it's Rudolph. And that'll be incomplete. A 
They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Rudolph going to throw again. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Steelers' first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. I'd love to sit down at some point in our offseason and talk to these defensive coordinators in the red zone. Tight end is obviously a big threat. Yet these guys continue to make plays. Is there any other way to stop them? Apparently not. In the red zone, like you said, that's your guy. They got it to him. Supreme confidence in going to a playmaker. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On the give, this is Harris. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Two things to watch. First, his strength and being able to break out that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, here's Rudolph. And he's got his man in stride, complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out and hope you can get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively, and they stop him well short. On 24 yards of 10. Boswell's kick is good, and they will move up by 10 now. 17 to 7. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, etc. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. Successful field goal try. Here's Boswell to send it away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. The Patriots ready to get the football back. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. Zappi looks to throw it. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Zappi throwing again here on second down. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. Third and two, right? So this is a situation where low man has got to win at the line of scrimmage. But it's not just the low man winning. It's the low man who's winning with some force. And they had that to pick up the first down. Barely picking it up, but they did. On first down, here's Zappi. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And it's second down. Smith-Schuster. A six-yard pickup. Brings up second and four. And the 38 yard line. Yeah. 
from the shotgun. Zappi. He finds Douglas complete. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. Zappi off play action. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Parker. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up second down. And Zappi to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Stevenson. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. The tackle made by Alandon Roberts. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Second and nine from the 44. Now Zappi. Throwing middle, and it's complete. That'll go for a gain of seven. And now that sets up third and two. Zappi hurrying them to the line. Zappi fakes a handoff, looks to throw it. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. Here's Bryce Berenger now. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Najee Harris and the Steeler offense set to go to work once again. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally, you run to set up the pass. Here, it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. Rudolph throw into the hands of Pickens. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing. And they get a nice pick up here toward the end of the first half. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Rudolph. And that one too wide and incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Rudolph. He finds his man complete. That's one. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. As a passer, we're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Rudolph now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half.
Again, it's Rudolph. Now they go screen. It's complete. The first down screen pass, good for five. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively. And the key to any screen play is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short gain. Now second and five. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second and five. Shotgun snap for Rudolph. Caught out left side by Robinson. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And he missed it. It's no good. And the lead will hold at 10. So we reach halftime here in the Steel City with the Steelers on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. We got a fine first half out of the former Alabama man, Najee Harris. He had a nose for the end zone as he wound up with two touchdowns on the ground in those first two quarters. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. A 10-point game, 17-7 to score as we get back to it on EA Sports. This fielded right at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. George Pickens back out now with the rest of the offense. They have to like what they've gotten from him in this game. Think about the accumulation of catches. Eight. The yards per catch now, because you're getting more than a first down every time he's touching the ball. This is the kind of game you want when you're able to throw it out wide. Absolutely. Over 100 yards, has the eight catches. Rudolph going to lead the Steelers up now first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. And the drive starts with a completion left side. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. Well, they found him eight times in that first half, and this is his first catch of quarter number three. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. Back to throw, Rudolph. That's complete to his tight end fire move. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Able to get this one down to the 40 yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll to 
it's another first down. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. Rudolph's throw complete there to Johnson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. The ball on the 32, it's second and two. Now a play fake, and it's Rudolph. And he goes down, it's a Patriot sack. Mac Wilson, what a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. All about the offense so far this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. A tough spot here, third and 15. Rudolph looking to throw. A short one there to fire you. And they'll get him down at about the 37. Well short of the first. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. And the lead will hold at 10. Well, it's still a good size lead, so they haven't necessarily needed him, but this is now two missed field goals for him in this game so far. Yeah, and the question now is, will he be prepared when they do need him? Whether that's later in this game or sometime down the line, having a kicker you can count on is definitely imperative. So after the missed long field goal attempt, this offense set up nicely at the 44-yard line. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Here's second and 10. They run once more with Stevenson. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. Zappi's throw here taken in by Gesicki. Then he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Second down, Zappi. Over the middle, hauled in by Smith-Schuster. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Zappi going to bootleg out. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. 
Patriots. Mike Gesicki, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have got it back to within a score. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and get some right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. Extra point by Rylan, up and good. And the lead's down to a field goal at 17-14. Back out is the kicker, Rylan, and he'll send this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Now the Steelers' offense gets ready to get back onto the field. Pretty important third-quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Rudolph going to lead the Steelers up now first and 10 at their own 27. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. And I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little head fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. On second down, this is Harris. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. 57 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator understanding what he thinks the defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, can look at the defense, realize he needs to change it to a run, and that gets it done in a big way as well. Now a first down carry for Harris. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so they can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. From the 46, here's the second down and nine. Now run straight ahead with Warren. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Third and five. From the 50, it's Rudolph. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is, because he understands how to get open in key situations. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. A Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Big Christian Barmore was there on the tackle. Second and nine. 
Now it's Rudolph off the bootleg. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting to gain. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Rudolph. A short one there to fire you. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. I thought maybe when he caught, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. The field goal unit's going to stay put on the sideline. They're going to go on fourth down here. They run for it with Harris. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Just enough push up front. He only needed about six inches. He didn't get a whole lot more than that. No, but he made sure he got enough so they didn't have to worry about measuring it or making it even close. Ends up picking up a couple of yards in a situation, as you noted, where he only needed inches. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football to places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game, second and ten. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he'll get this down only to the 18. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. From the gun, here's Rudolph. Open man, that's the tight end fire move. And they're going to get him down shy of the first at about the 13-yard line. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it off field. So three points, a uh, response there to that opening touchdown in this third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half and take over. Successful field goal try. Here's Boswell to send it away. Here's Rager. He's going to bring this one out. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. Bailey Zappi leads his offense back out. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? not think that what he saw in coverage his last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. 52 yards rushing for him now to this point. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Here's Zappi. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. Really nice play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball, but 
for the guys on the offensive line, they're doing a nice job of trying to protect their passer. But when a guy hops in the air and goes airborne to try and knock one away, it's difficult because you can't reach out and grab him. That'll be a holding penalty. So all you're trying to do is make some type of a play on him, make some type of contact to try and get his arms out of the sky. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. Zappi now on first and 10. Short pass caught by Henry. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From just shy of midfield, here's second and a couple. Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. And this offense on third down today, they've hit four of seven. This will be third and five. judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds. And they'll spot it right at the 20. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. Rudolph's throw pulled in by Robinson here. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. A gain of eight there on the play. And it'll be second in a couple. Now a give running left is Harris. Fights him off. And he's able to get out to the 32 right down there. Four yards to pick up, first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. 33 yards that time. The dynamic duo is doing damage in this one, and they've certainly been on point throughout, and they hook up again for another big play. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Here's Rudolph. Across the middle, he finds Robinson. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, Rudolph. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Yes, 
Now it's Rudolph. Now a quick throw there is incomplete. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Now Rudolph. accepted the opportunity and did exactly that. If they didn't get it there, they had to feel that they would come back and try it on fourth down. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two, they don't get it. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Here's Rager. He's going to bring this one out. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Patriots ready to try again on offense. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. Zappi and the Patriots come up here, first and 10, at their own 27. It's Stevenson with a run to begin the drive. That's to about the 28, second down coming up. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Zappi now on second down. They set up the screen for Stevenson. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. On third and one, here's Zappi. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Rudolph going to lead the Steelers up now first and 10 at their own 22. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Finds Pickens out right. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. 
But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Here's Rudolph off play action. And that's going to be incomplete. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. Now it's second and ten. Out of the gun, Rudolph. He gets it left side to Johnson. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and ten. A short one there to Fireview. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Going to throw again. Now a short pass pulled in by Washington. Just a gain of a couple there. And it's third and four now. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end. But unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. And the Steelers on third down. Now they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This is third and four. They'll fake the handoff. Now Rudolph. It's complete to Robinson. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now that's a big pickup right there. And so often we focus on how the quarterback's faking on play action. How about everyone being in on the deal and picking it up? Second, third levels. You can see them trying to recover. They've been worked out offensively. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They hand this off to Harris. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Rudolph looking to throw it. And his throw is incomplete. Those throwing windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Shotgun snap for Rudolph. Guys, man. Steelers touchdown. Pat Fryermuth, an 11 yard touchdown. And the Steelers have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Well, it seemed like they were so focused elsewhere, they forgot about the tight end spot. And he's the one that burns him there to make this a three score game here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. I think there might be a little bit of defensive fatigue from those guys on that side of the ball, partner, because they've been spending their time trying to stop them from all angles. This time, the tight end gets him. Extra point put through by Boswell, and that will make this a 19-point game. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Here's Rager. He's going to bring this one out. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. 
New England trying to get a place on offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Zappi and the Patriots come up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. To the right side, he's got Parker. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they turn that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll make it second down. Looking to throw. Zappi. He'll dump this down to Stevenson. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. And they're going to speed things up here. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Patriots first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Brandon, a lot of times you'll see running backs rotate in and out of the game, whether it's completed pass, a good run, it doesn't matter. Here, not only does he stay in, but they go right back to him, and he makes another nice play. Back-to-back -back catches. The throw here caught by Devontae Parker. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 23 yards, the final tally. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. On well, second down, it's Stevenson. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Zappi on third down. That is caught, and he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So the face mask moves them closer. And now first and goal. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. From a yard out. And the Pats have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. And that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion, doesn't it? Now, it'll be a two-score game after the conversion. Yeah, I mean, there's no doubt with a two-score game, they're going to have to onside kick it. We'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve. And you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And they're able to cut this deficit down to 12.
Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this doesn't work. The Steelers recover it. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Rudolph looking to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And they'll end up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. See if the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. Second and 11 now. Harris running straight ahead. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did, and just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. 